video highlights soil fertility problems. A poor soil leads to nutrient deficiency problems in plants as is observed on the picture of this banana field. Plants close to the homestead on the left are tall and dark green. They receive nutrients from kitchen residue. Plants further away from the kitchen received less residue and the lack of nutrients reduced plant height and gave the plants their bright green and sometimes yellowish color. In this video, you will learn how to identify deficiencies in your banana fields. You will also receive advice on organic and mineral nutrient sources that can be used to restore soil fertility. When plants become nitrogen deficient, leaves turn light green and finally yellow patches appear. The midrib also often turns pink. Nitrogen is commonly referred to as N. While for phosphorus deficiency, leaf margin often turns scorched brown without too much yellowing. Phosphorus is abbreviated as P. As plants become potassium deficient, leaf margin and tip turn yellow, which eventually become scorched brown. Potassium is abbreviated as K. For plants with magnesium deficiency, intervenal chlorosis occurs, causing a yellow light band along the leaf. Nitrogen is vital in chlorophyll production, DNA, and protein synthesis. Phosphorus is important for root growth, flower, and seed formation. Potassium is vital for strong cells, transpiration, and fruit filling. It also induces disease resistance. Magnesium is also vital to chlorophyll. This is the compound in the leaves that makes them look green. In order to produce a good yield of 50 tons per hectare, the whole plant requires 300 kilograms of nitrogen, almost 40 kilograms of phosphorus, over 1,000 kilograms of potassium, and some 55 kilograms of magnesium per hectare. You can see that bananas particularly need a lot of potassium, whereas cereal crops like maize particularly need nitrogen, and leguminous crops like beans particularly need phosphorus. Therefore, different plants require different amounts of nutrients. In order to improve the plant nutrient, you can use organic residues available at your farm. Different organic inputs contain varying concentrations of plant nutrients. For example, if you want to organically enrich your soils with nitrogen, then use manure, preferably applied fresh. Poultry manure is particularly rich in nitrogen. You can also use plant residues, especially leguminous plants residues, applied as compost or as mulch. Urine can be applied in small ferrules which are covered after application to avoid nitrogen losses in form of ammonia. And if you want to add potassium, then apply mulch, especially grasses and coffee husks, animal manure, wood ashes, and urine. For phosphate addition to the soil, you apply good quality farmyard manure. While for the addition magnesium into the soil, you can apply mulch, manure, and compost. The use of mineral fertilizers is the fastest way to eliminate nutrient deficiencies. Nutrients from fertilizers are quickly available to the plant. Before purchasing fertilizer, always look at the label on the fertilizer bag to know its nutrient composition. The quantity and type of fertilizer to apply per unit area should depend on the nutrient deficiencies that you have identified in the field and yield increase that you wish to achieve. You can best apply fertilizer twice a year during the first half of the rainy season. Fertilizers should be applied 30 to 50 centimeters around the plant. You can dissolve fertilizer in water and pour it around the plant or you can incorporate the fertilizer granules into the soil surface using a rake. Leaving too many suckers on mother plants drain nutrients and water, so make sure that you carry out desuckering to keep correct plant density, that is to say, one mother, one daughter, and one granddaughter. 
In this video, we've shown that soil fertility problems can cause plant nutrient deficiency symptoms. Different nutrient deficiencies cause different symptoms. It is important that you identify nutrient deficiencies in your banana field so that you know what nutrients to apply. Nutrients can be applied in form of organic farm residues or mineral fertilizers. Good organic residues were manure, compost, urine, and mulch. Before purchasing mineral fertilizers, you should always look at the description of the fertilizer on the bag to know its nutrient composition. Try to buy those fertilizers that address the deficiency symptoms that you have observed in your fields. Fertilizer application should be done during the first half of the rainy season. It should also be noted that leaving too many suckers on mother plants drain nutrients and water. Therefore, it is important to regularly desucker your plants in order to maintain the correct plant density.